Okay, so let's start to create a profile here. So we'll call Mixpanel alias, my user page, and we'll do that to this email. So we'll refresh that, go to user HTML. That we know, of course, that won't show. The alias doesn't show. Now we want to do identify. And the reason why we did that for this file is because now we want to look at setting people properties. And we set people properties to Mixpanel people set. So you can see a few properties here, and some are special. Special properties have a lead and uh, dollar sign before them. And those are actually usually the properties that Mixpanel reserves and that they use. So for example, first name and last name, they get used in things like notifications. Email gets used in notifications. So you can set them. So in this case, we'll set them. So we'll set here, we'll set my email. And we'll set my first name. And we'll skip create it. We don't need that. So when you set people properties, you want to also call identify at the same time, right? And once again, the issue will set kind of people properties uh, to sign up or perhaps when the user updates their account details. So you kind of call them at the same time just to make sure everything gets tracked properly. And you can also, of course, create your own people properties and label, label them whatever you want as long as they don't have the leading dollar sign just to uh, make sure nothing gets confusing. And just like in register for sense super properties, you can actually do mix panel people set once. So you can set something once without overwriting it. If you do mix people set and you send something, you'll override whatever exists there. So we'll do this. So we'll identify with the alias we just created. Let's go back to index. Kind of get a few events here. And then let's go back to the user. Yep. And we got our mixed metal people set in our email. So okay, so we have the few events coming in. <coughs> and we have our first profile. So we can see here, this is the first and last name, which was set, the email that we set, and mixed metal kind of filled up the rest. So it filled out the location filled out some of the other initial referring domains, last seen, and other things. So this mix one just kind of did automatically. And we can kind of see my history here. So we can see all the events I did and what dates and so on. And you can open them and look at the same kind of properties we were looking at the live view. So that's how you create profiles. Uh, you can of course delete this profile and you can even create profiles manually. So there's a few options here they can do. You can upload from a CSV, and uh, that might make it easier if you already have an existing database. And there's a few ways to kind of filter down by some of the people properties. Another thing I'll mention um, here is once you have people properties, they appear in the segmentation. And we'll kind of cover this in section three, but you'll see things like this. So you see that little icon versus that little icon. So it's this is the event property and this is the people property. And we'll see how kind of that plays a role when you look at different reports. Uh, finally, we'll just look at a few other things. So for there's a few other special people properties. So you have something like mixed panel append, which is a very handy way to append values to a, to a property. So if you have a list value of some kind, um, a common scenario might be if you're tracking assistant marketing channels for when a user converts. Um, and it's a list of values. You can actually just use mixpanel append to append the latest value to an existing list. Uh, so that's something that doesn't, doesn't exist for events just yet, and it makes it really easy to keep to keep a, a running tally of something. So the next, uh, the final two le lectures, we'll just look about incrementing values and revenue events, and then that will be the very good foundation of mixpanel.